This pastor was driving to church one day when he thought he heard the Lord say, I'm going to worship with you this morning. He actually didn't think he heard the Lord right, he, so he kind of dismissed it. He couldn't have been more wrong. This is a wild, jaw-dropping story that shows how incredible he is and how close he really is with us. Watch it till the end. This is incredible. December of 2017. Um, so in November, I had gone to a conference in Richmond, Virginia, and I had heard, I think his name is Chuck Pierce. Oh, yeah. And he was talking about the, the, the fire of God and just like the, the nation and book of numbers, and they're following the, the fire and the pillar of smoke pillar fire i'm in the back ushering because that's me i'm a servant right like so i'm just like y'all need servers okay i'll go i went to walmart i bought a white shirt black pants and i'm ushering people around like right? the big conference five thousand people in worldwide global yeah. conference and uh and so i hear i'm hearing him talk and i in my mind i heard god you're the same god today that you were then mm. you don't change and you're not a respecter of persons so what you did for them you do for us God, I want to see the pillar of fire. Wow. And I left it at that. I didn't ever pray it again. I didn't think about it again. I didn't meditate on it. But six weeks later, I'm driving into to church on the, you know, that Wednesday morning. And uh, and <laughs> this is such a crazy story. Sorry. It's radical radio, yeah. brother. Go for it. And uh, y'all better hold on tight because this is crazy. Anyway, so I hear the Lord say, I'm going to worship with you this morning. Mm. I don't know what that means, right? Like, yeah. I understand worship God. I'm going to worship him. He told me I'm going to worship with you today. Mm. And I went, I don't, I'm going to ignore that. Yeah. You know, that was my thought was, yeah. yeah, I heard wrong. Right. So I, I get to the church and there's a line of people outside waiting to be counseled. That doesn't happen, but it happened that day. And the entire day, like from 8 a.m. till 514, I'm counseling people. Wow. And at, I was so looking forward to worshiping, though. Yeah. You know, just, I was like, I don't know what, I'm going to ignore that I heard that, but I know that I'm going to worship, and it's going to be great. But at 514, I get the last one out. I shut the door, lock it, turn the lights off, turn on some worship music, and I get on my knees. And I felt the presence of God come from behind me, tangibly, physically, and put his arms around me and hold me. Whoa. His chest to my back. Whoa. And it lasted for one minute, because at 515, knock on the door and so i get up i turn off the music the presence whatever it's gone i don't mean like that, that that physical thing wasn't there i get up i turn the lights on on i unlock the door guy comes in i counsel him for a little bit uh we have bible study at six o'clock so i'm walking over there it's actually a business meeting we have like a financial business meeting that day and so i'm walking uh, across over to there at six o'clock and I open the door, I go inside, and then I uh, I see it's Christmas time, right? And so we have a Christmas tree in the door, uh, one of mm -hmm. our other doors of the window, and I see it's flashing red and the lights aren't on. And I went, why is there red lights flashing on our Christmas tree? And I look out the window and I see emergency lights outside. And I was like, uh, so I turned to our treasurer and I said, hey, Larry, I think, uh, I think the police might be outside. And as I said that, a fireman opens the door and he is full gear, ax in hand, Whoa. mask, everything. And he yells out, where's the fire? Wow. And I look at Larry and he looks at me and both of us are like, what did you do? You know, to each other. And it was, I have no idea. And so we, we walk outside. I said, I don't know what you're talking about, but I will show you every inch of our property. And he's like, well, you have to, because we had a report that your, your church is on fire and we can't find it. I was like, okay. So we go into every room, every single room. Wow. We get to the sanctuary, it's the last place. We open the doors and he goes, I don't know what that guy was thinking. And I, my thought was, oh man, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to do a lot of paperwork here. Because now I'm looking out the windows of the sanctuary and realize there's three fire trucks. Whoa. Which in our town is pretty much the whole, the whole fleet. <laughs> that's yeah. the fire department. Yeah, that's the department. <laughs> it's the whole group. Like every fireman in town is at our church. Wow. And I'm like, oh no. So I asked the guy, I said, do I need to fill up uh, paperwork he goes no no well maybe let's just so we walk around the corner at that time the chief comes and parks between two of the trucks and he grabs his hat he puts on his coat you know just like the cliche fireman like he looks like the chief right and uh and so he comes and he's yelling like y'all get to work and why haven't you hooked up and like, we can't find the fire he's like what do you mean you can't find the fire it's right over there and i was like sorry sir i'm i'm the pastor my name is jeff and whatever he's like yeah i'm the chief and he's like I said, do I need to fill out paperwork? He goes, for what? I said, because y'all came out here and there's no fire. He goes, no, there is a fire. I know there's a fire. 
I said, what do you mean? He goes, I'm the one that called it in. Whoa. And I went, wait, excuse me? <laughs> he goes, I, he goes, this is his, he said, I came out of the mayor's office at 514 today. And when I came outside, I saw a pillar of fire going from the, your, your church up into the heavens. Oh, 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 oh. He said, I drove over here, confirmed it's coming out of that door. Wow. And I went, which door? And I turned around the like around our, our sanctuary to the back where our offices are. And he goes, that one. And I said, sir, that's my office. Come on, I'll worship with you today. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yes. Yeah. So we had it. And you know, my my thought was I didn't get to see it. Wow. I asked to see the wow. pillar of fire. I immediately remembered wow. the prayer. I said, God, I didn't get to see it. You know what I heard? Neither did Moses. Wow. He said, Joshua and the nation did. Moses didn't. Wow. So go back and, you know, read it. <laughs> Come on. Go back man. to read that. The whole nation, I think it's like Numbers 3 or something like that. Yeah. It's it, where it yeah. says that, uh, like, the, the, the whole, when Moses would walk to the tent, yeah. everybody would come out and watch. Exodus he, 33. Exodus yeah. 33, yep. that's it. And he would walk in, and then the, the, the pillar would fall, and yeah. Joshua come would on. stand outside. That's right. Man, that's so cool.